Memphis has had an extremely scary and dangerous week. You know, first with the murder of a teacher out on a jog and then a series of shootings that happened last night. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien spoke with lawmakers chiming in today with some of their thoughts and reaction to everything that's happened. A heavy heart between the finding of Eliza Fletcher's body and the live stream shooting rampage in Memphis last night. The city is mourning. Representative Mark White says he knows some of Fletcher's extended family. That life was taken so tragically and for no excuse why. Republicans and Democrats alike shared their sadness and their grief today. My heart is just aching. I mean, it's just, I get emotional about it because you really want to do something about it. You want something to be done. Though what that something is, that's the tough part. Both White and Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton argued that had the truth and sentencing bill been in place earlier, at least the murder of Fletcher might not have happened. Democrats say that's short-sighted. Maybe we need to look at good credits um, and how these people are getting three, five years off their sentencing. And why does that work? Why do you need good credits when you're in prison? Shouldn't you be, shouldn't that be an expectation, not a, a goal? I think that's kind of an easy way out. I think we have to go further back because regardless of when a person is released, if they're going to commit these types of crimes, they're going to commit them. So it would have just been a different victim at a different time. Regardless, though, the agony goes beyond just our legislature. We have a longtime reporter uh, on another station down, down in Memphis who, when she was reporting this, she's been there for a long time, too. She broke down and cried. And that is the feeling of a lot of Memphis is, you know, why is this happening? Whatever the solution, the grief lives on. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Today, Sexton and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally announced a new ad hoc committee to start addressing crime and recidivism. That comes on top of another ad hoc committee to look at our juvenile justice system here in Tennessee, which held its first meeting this past June.